In a linear programming problem, we have to maximise a function of variables x and y subject to constraints on them. So the example here, we've got a function 7x plus 4y, we want to find the maximum value of that given that 4x plus y is less than or equal to 13 and 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 9. And we do this in the following way. We first will decide which cells are going to be our x and y. And we'll use a4 and b4. So we'll start with a with values of 0 for each of x and y. We then need to have a cell where we're going to evaluate p. So let's put it at a3. That's going to equal 7 lots of a4 plus 4 lots of b4 which of course in this case will still come to naught. Let's look at the constraints. We'll put the first constraint formula in a7 and that's 4x plus y. So x is here plus y is there and the other one is 2x plus 3y less than or equal to 9. So the function there is 2x 2 times our x variable plus 3 times our y variable. That sets it all up. It all looks a bit bare at the moment but once we've set all those formulae up we can then use solver which you go to data and then solver and we have to simply tell it where our various uh, constraints and conditions are. The thing we're trying to maximise is in A3. So we click that and that goes there. That's our objective function. We want to maximise it. The cells that we're going to change are A4 and B4. And we're going to put in two constraints. So let's add a constraint. And the constraint is that this number has to be less than 13. And we want another constraint, which is that this one, which is 2x plus 3y, that has to be less than or equal to 9. We put that in. So here's everything. Our constraints less than or equal. We've chosen as usual that everything has to be non-negative. So now we solve down here. Move it up a bit so we can see it. Press solve. OK. And there's the answer. X equals 3. Y equals 1. And the maximum value of P is 25 and we can see that works if we put x equals 3 y equals 1 in 7 3's plus 4 1's gives us the 25 and those values of x and y satisfy the constraints as well. So this is simple linear programming using solver on Excel. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay. It's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant. Spot on. Well done.